Dimensional Analysis, Rayleigh Method This method was named after Lord Rayleigh. and also known as indicial method. To understand how this method works, let's do the case of drag force on a smooth sphere. Here we want to express the drag force as a function of some independent variables. Step 1 consists of listing the parameters involved in the problem. Let's say that the drag force on a smooth sphere is mainly influenced by the sphere diameter d, the fluid velocity v, the fluid density rho, and the fluid viscosity mu. Since we want to express the drag force as a function of other variables, then the drag force is called dependent variable and the remaining parameters are called independent variables. Step 2 consists of listing the primary dimensions of each parameter. To analyze the dimension of our equation, it is helpful to make a list of dimensions of each parameter. Let's write the unit and dimensions of each of these parameters. The unit for drag force is newton, or kilogram meter per second square. Then the dimension for the drag force is mlt power negative 2, where m represents mass, l represents length, and t represents time. The unit for diameter is meter. Then its dimension is l. For fluid velocity, the unit is meter per second, and the dimension is lt power negative 1. The unit for fluid density is kilogram per meter cube. Its dimension is ml power negative 3. And, the unit for fluid viscosity mu is kilogram per meter second. Hence, its dimension is ml power negative 1, t power negative 1. Step 3 consists of writing the dependent variable as power equation of independent variables. Here we write f equals a dimensionless constant c times d power a, times v power b, times rho power c, times mu power d. Step 4 consists of converting the power equation to MLT system. For this step, we refer to our previous table of dimensions. We replace each of these variables with its dimensions. Step 5 consists of applying homogeneity left and right. To make it clearer, let's write the power of each dimension of the MLT equation. Then it becomes Homogeneity of power of M Homogeneity of power of L and homogeneity of power of T. Here we have three equations. Equation from M, equation from L, and equation from T. And we have four unknowns. A, B, C, and D. We are going to express three of the unknowns in terms of the fourth. Let's express A, B, and C in terms of D. Step
Step 6 consists of rewriting the first equation, which is the drag force equation, by replacing the powers with the ones that we have obtained previously. Step 7 consists of rearranging the equation. Here, we have f over rho d square v square equals a certain dimensionless constant c times the Reynolds number in the power of negative d. Since we don't know the values of c and d, we can only say that it is a function of Reynolds number. Hence the answer. 